What is up enthusiasts, it is Cedar Flags here and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today we are going to be talking about the one and the only Kennywood Park in West Mifflin, Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. Instead of focusing on the past, today I want to focus on the park's future. Now of course in 2019 they added their major SNS hypercoaster, Steel Curtain, and it ended up being a pretty good ride. So today we are going to predict the next major attraction coming to this decent sized amusement park. Now, let's look at a few factors when it comes to this park. First of all, when it comes to attractions, they like to take risks. Look at a ride like Skyrocket. That was a Premier Rides prototype. And look at Steel Curtain, also a prototype. These are the first of their kind. And ever since they added Skyrocket, Premier Rides has blown up with brand new Skyrocket models all across the world. We also know that they have a pretty good relationship with SNS Sansei. Well, SNS is a pretty big manufacturer all across the world, but Kennywood is a huge fan of their work. They have a Scream and Swing, and of course, Steel Curtain. The last thing I want to mention with Kennywood is that they have a very small footprint. Kennywood is a very small park compared to most parks. It has two hyper coasters fit in with that footprint, so we know they like to take risks, but unfortunately, they do have a smaller footprint. So, since we have those factors out of the way, let's get right into the possible new attractions I could see for Kennywood Park in the near future. Looking at all of those factors and looking at what their sister park Lake Compounds has, I decided to come up with a list of four new attractions, two of them by SNS and two of them by other manufacturers that Kennywood has talked to or worked with throughout the past few years. Now, the first two I wanna talk about are by SNS. And the first one I wanna talk about is your average drop tower, just the plain old SNS drop tower. Let's look at some of the reasons. First of all, Kennywood does like to work a lot with SNS. They have a great relationship with SNS, and I feel like if they were to pick a drop tower, this would be their most likely option. Second off, it would be very unique to the area. Where's the closest SNS shot drop tower? It's probably all the way up at Cedar Point, and that's four hours away. Another big reason for this is just because that Kennywood does not have a drop tower anymore. They used to have one in Pitfall, the massive 250 foot Intamin drop tower, and it served a good purpose for the park up until the early 2010s when it closed down. Now I could imagine SNS coming in and providing that gap with a new SNS drop tower. On top of that, I could also see this drop tower being a brand new spin drop tower. SNS has been advertising these for the past few months, and I could obviously see this coming to Kennywood. I mean, like I said, Kennywood is a very innovative park, and if they came out with a prototype for this, I would absolutely love to see that. Up next, we have another possibility. It is also by SNS, and it is the Axis Coaster. Now, this one really is a shot in the dark, and this one is pretty controversial. But at the same time, I could definitely see this being the next new attraction at the park. Let me name off a few reasons why I think that this could be the next major attraction coming to this park. First off, I've previously mentioned why Kennywood has a great relationship with SNS, so I'll just shelve that. But second off, this is a prototype model. No models have came out yet, and this is a very recent model. Skyrocket, Steel Curtain, those are two prototypes, and I could definitely see another prototype coming to this park. And let me just say, this would be a very, very unique ride. This thing would be a very unique crowd pleaser. I mean, where's the nearest coaster that resembles a 4D free spin? The closest I could personally think of to Kennywood Park would be Six Flags Great Adventure, and that's several hours away. I can't think of something nearer. Maybe King's Dominion is a little more near, and when they add their SNS roller coaster, that would be close. But at the same time, I could definitely see this being a very unique ride. And let me just say, it would bring in a lot of tourists from around the world. This thing really caught a lot of people's eyes when it came out in IAPA. And let me just say, when this ride comes out, it's going to be a major crowd pleaser. Not to mention that this ride also has a very tiny footprint. But anyway, let's move on to our first non-SNS attraction. We have the Zamperla Endivore. This is the successor to the old Huss Enterprise model and in my opinion, would be a perfect replacement for Volcano. Think about Volcano closing and then coming up with a new successor. These rides are very reliable. They're very widespread across the world right now. A lot of amusement parks are adding them and replacement of their old Enterprise models, and I could easily see Kennywood following. This ride takes up just as big as a footprint as Volcano did, and we also know that 
Zamperla and Palace Entertainment have a great relationship as well. Look at Black Widow. One of the biggest rides at Kennywood was added by Zamperla. Another ride, Cosmic Chaos, was added by them. Arrow 360 was added by them. And the list just keeps on going. They are a very trusty manufacturer with Palace Entertainment. And I could easily see them working with them next. Finally, we have the RMC Raptor. Now we do know that Fred Grubb and Alan Schilke of Rocky Mountain Construction have been at Kennywood in the past few years, talking to Kennywood staff and talking in the works. Now we don't know if this means a brand new coaster, but we do know that they have put out a lot of rumors of a new roller coaster. In fact, there was a concept that came out, leaked out of Kennywood's blueprints that could have possibly been an RMC wooden coaster. But to this day, we don't know, which is very unfortunate. But we do know that RMC and Kennywood have been talking. Now, I could easily see them working together and combining their talents to create a brand new RMC Raptor. Now, RMC Raptors have a very tight footprint, and we know that Kennywood is a very small and landlocked park as well. So, this would not be that big of a problem. I bet that Kennywood could find a very easy area where they could put land and they could put this RMC Raptor in. This could possibly even be the best ride in the park, knowing the track record with the existing Raptors. Now, this ride would bring in a lot of guests. It would be the first single rail coaster in the region, and it would be a very unique ride because I'd say the nearest one is probably at Six Flags Great Adventure, just like the nearest Ford Eek Free Spin Coaster. But anyway, that is my video. What do you think is the next major attraction to come to Kennywood Park? Let me know in the comments below, and this is Cedar Flags. I will see you all in the next video. Later.